What's up, everybody? This is Jose with Oakland Latinos Unidos, a.k.a. Oakland Latinos United, the voice of the Latino community in the Bay Area, California, YouTube, and beyond. Well, I'm on here for an, with a new video for you to enjoy, and the video I want to talk about today is something I've been seeing on YouTube, on Facebook, on Instagram, just on, on, on the Internet in general. I've seen arguments about, like, the way Chicanos or Raza or Latinos or Mexicanos should act or talk or should dress. And some of those arguments are ignorant as hell. And I wanted to bring it up because I've seen it many times. And I usually see it from people who are really just Chicano nationalists or gangbangers or a lot of times folks from SoCal especially. But what I want to talk about is like... When I've been on forums and like say Chicanos from Chicago or Oakland or Sacramento, Northern California or somewhere that's not Los Angeles or, or, or somewhere in the Southwest, usually people tend to say, oh, you fucking Chicanos or Latinos from, from up north are a bunch of mayateros and you guys want to be black and you guys are ashamed of your culture. And I've heard the same thing said about Chicanos who are like from Chicago or Atlanta, Georgia, or e and even some parts of Texas. Because, you know, if you come like to say Northern California, you're going to see the Chicanos out here. Yeah, we talk a little differently. You know what I mean? We have our own slang and we talk a little differently. We don't talk necessarily in Calo. And, uh,. You know, we grew up in a different environment than growing up, say, in East L.A. Or, 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 you know, Boyle Heights or somewhere in Southern California. I didn't grow up in East L.A. I didn't grow up in Boyle Heights. I didn't grow up in South Central L.A. I didn't grow up in Echo Park. I didn't grow up in San Fernando Valley. I didn't grow up in Long Beach. And I didn't grow up in San Bernardino or San Diego or any of those places. I've been to some of those places, but I didn't grow up there. So my reality and my upbringing was totally different. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, my my uh, my way of talking was a little different than maybe someone from L.A. I didn't talk like, hey, Holmes, I'm from L.A., dog. Scudo Islo, say. You know, I didn't grow up talking like that because that wasn't my reality. You see what I'm saying? But just because I didn't grow up talking like that, doesn't mean that I'm any less Chicano or any less Raza or any less Mexicano or any less Latino than someone who did grow up talking like that. And to believe that, you have to be an ignorant motherfucker. I mean, that's the reality. You have to be a fucking ignorante because, you know, we all grew up in different places. Yes, we're all Chicanos, we're all Raza, for sure, you know what I mean? We're gonna, you know, we're, we're always gonna know what we are. We're always gonna be proud of what we are, you know. And just because we don't talk necessarily in Galo or dress like Cholos or something like that doesn't mean that we're any less Chicano. You know, I hate to break it to a lot of you guys out there. Especially you guys who are on this Cholo trip. You know what I mean? The Chicano movement really had nothing to do with Cholos or Lowriders or any of that. The Chicano was movement was a movement of... Raza in schools, students, you know what I mean? And people who were tired of, of, of imperialism and oppression who raised up to fight against the system, to change things for Chicanos. And yes, the lowrider and cholo culture got adopted into the Chicano movement because it is part of our, our world, part of our people, you know? But that doesn't necessarily mean that the word Chicanos necessarily means that you're a cholo or that you're a a gangbanger, or you wear khakis, or or you know you're more Chicano if you talk Galo. No, that that is a, a falsity, and any and you know that's false. Anyone who believes that is ignorant. You know what I mean? Because Chicano, no matter where you grow up, you know you're gonna act and dress and look like your reality around you, and that's just how it is. You know, yes, when I was younger, out here in the Bay Area, Northern California, and Oakland, and San Jose, and San Francisco, and Richmond, Hayward, Sacramento, yes, there were Chicanos who used to dress cholo. There were Chicanos who used to like oldies and used to drive lowriders. 
There were some Chicanos that talk Galo, but the Bay Area always had its own slang. You know what I mean? So yes, a lot of a lot of Chicanos in the Bay did use black slang. And that's because we grew up in cities that were predominantly black. Like I've said in a video before, you could find it. It's on there. And um you know, um you know, we borrowed a lot of black words and a lot of black slang because we grew up in that environment. You know what I mean? I grew up listening to black music too, like like R&B and and funk and hip hop and jazz and blues. I grew up on that shit. You know what I mean? And my reality was a reality that I was in a bl in a predominantly black city. Yes, there was a lot of Raza and Chicanos around, but at the same time, it was an, a mostly black city. You know what I mean? And and that's just how it was. It is what it is. You know what I mean? And the same reality goes for people like in Chicago and Houston, Texas and Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I mean? And other parts of California like Sacramento or, you know, like Richmond or Vallejo. You know, or Stockton, where there are a lot of African Americans and a lot of Rasa as well, and people borrow from each other's, you know, culture in many ways. You know what I mean? And it is what it is. It's no different than in LA. You know what I mean? In LA, yes, Rasa dominates LA. Rasa is the majority of Los Angeles. And as you can see, you know, like Easy E, Dr. Dre, and a lot of the rappers out back in those days, they used to borrow a lot from Chicano culture, the low riders, the khakis. You know what I mean? I remember in Oakland, we used to trip off, like, colors and, and Easy e because we were like, damn, why are black dudes be dressing like cholos in L.A.? I mean, in Oakland, that's what we thought. It was kind of funny to us. Because, you know, in Oakland, we were used to mostly just Chicanos dressing in khakis. You know what I mean? There were some blacks, but usually there were blacks that grew up or hung around Chicanos in Oakland. You know what I mean? They dressed like that. But blacks in Oakland have their own style. You know what I mean? And... You know, that's just, it is what it is. You know what I mean? You can't put Rasa in a box. That's that's an ignorant thing, and I resent that. I don't like that. I don't like when you try to say Rasa has to fit this fucking mold to be Rasa. Just because a Chicano maybe talks a little bit more black slang than Kahlo doesn't mean he's less Chicano. Unless he says, I want to be black and fuck Chicanos and fuck Rasa, then fuck him. You know what I mean? Seriously. But if, if he grew up basically in, in an environment that was a little bit more hood than Barrio, but yet he recognizes he's a Chicano and he recognizes his raza and recognizes who he is, then more power to him. What's the fucking problem? You know what I mean? For one, I can't talk Galo or Cholo or act like that because it's not my reality. I didn't grow up in that. I didn't grow up in L.A. Like I said a thousand times, I'm not from SoCal. And I'm not from a, a all Chicano city. It's just it just wasn't my reality. You know what I mean? But that doesn't mean I'm less raza or I'm less Chicano. You know, and anyone who thinks so can basically kiss my ass. Seriously. You know what I mean? I talk more about Chicano issues on YouTube than probably a lot of you fools out there. You know what I mean? And that's 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 a la realidad, aunque no les guste. Hay veces les tengo que decir la verdad. And most of you so-called Chicanos that claim you're so cholo and so tough probably don't even speak Spanish and can't even communicate with other raza. So don't come at me with the bullshit. Keep it for yourself, you know what I mean? Because I don't have time for it. I have time to empower our people. I have time to let our people know what's the reality. So stop putting our people in a box and trying to make them fit this mold. You know what I mean? You know, plus, like, Cholo stuff, that shit is old school. I grew up around that shit. You know what I mean? So, you can't tell me nothing about it, especially if you're a youngster. You know what I mean? I grew up during that era when the Cholos and when khakis and derby jackets, Nike Cortez and, you know what I mean, Ben Davis and, and all that shit. You can't school me. You feel me? Because I grew up around that shit. That shit was big in Oakland when I was a, a teenager and when I was, you know... A kid, you know what I mean? So you you cannot tell me a goddamn fucking thing, you know what I mean? I've had people tell me that in the past. This is why I probably make that making this video. I've had people tell me like, "Oh, Jose, you sound like you're black. What do you want to be black? You're not fucking Rasa." And it's like, fuck you, you know what I mean? Who the fuck are you to tell me what I am or what I ain't? You know what I mean? So you have to realize, not all Chicanos grew up in the same reality you grew up in if you grew up say in LA you know what I mean or or in SoCal you know 
some Chicanos grew up in a different environment, and it is what it is. You know what I mean? You know, it's no different than like Chicanos were from Salinas or from, you know, Monterey or, or you know, Hollister or down, you know, down towards the Central Coast. They have their own style, I'm sure. And they have their own thing, and I don't knock them for it. I'm not going to say they're less Chicano or more Chicano for it. You know what I mean? In the Bay Area, we have our own thing. You know what I mean? Because we're from the Bay, and the Bay is a unique place, and it's different. You know, we're not like anywhere else. And, and just because we're Chicanos from the Bay doesn't mean we're less Chicano or we're less Raza. You know what I mean? That's just fucking stupid. You know? The thing is, the reality is, regardless if you talk like Calo or if you talk ghetto or hood, we all go through the same struggle. We get harassed by police. We were hated by racist white supremacists. You know what I mean? We have we live in fucked up hoods or barrios. We have fucked up schools in our environment. Fucked up programs. You know what I mean? Hopelessness sometimes. That drives us to drugs or gangs or whatever. You know what I mean? And it doesn't really fucking matter if it's in East Oakland or East LA or or, or Cicero in Chicago or, or La Villita or or in Atlanta, Georgia and DeKalb County. You know what I mean? Or in New York. Fuck, you know, I'm actually, I met a Mexican from New York, a Chicano from New York, and you know how he talked? This is how he talked. Hey, kid, I'm from New York, B. Did I tell him, hey, you're less Chicano because you sound like, like you're Red Man or something? No. I realized he's from New York, and that's his reality. And if he talked Gallo, I would probably trick out, like, wow, where'd you learn to talk Gallo? In, in, in New York. You know what I mean? So you can't put Rasa in a box. You know. Or if like Rasa talks proper. You know. And he's educated. And doesn't talk Galo or hood slang. You can't tell him. Hey. He wants to be white. He's a vendido. He's a sellout. No. Because that's fucking retarded. Unless he is a sellout. Unless he is like. Oh yeah. Fuck Mexicans. I'm, I'm, I'm American. That's why I talk like this. And yeah. Fuck him. Fuck that sellout. You know what I mean? But if he's a proper talking dude and he knows what he is and he's down for the cause, why the fuck would you fucking treat him any differently? You see what I'm saying? So hopefully you guys understand this and take from this. You know what I mean? That we're not all the same, but we are the same. We all grew up in similar experiences, but we grew up in different environments too. You know what I mean? It's no different than a black a black dude from Oakland comparing him to a black dude from Atlanta. A black dude from Atlanta or New Orleans is going to talk hella country and hella southern. And a dude from Oakland is going to talk with Oakland slang. A black dude I'm talking about. It's, it's no different. Same thing with Raza. You know what I mean? If you're a Chicano from, say, Los Angeles, New Mexico, Arizona, chances are you're probably going to talk more, more Chicano, more Cholo, more, you know, Calo. And if you're framing from, like I said, like Houston, Texas, or from the Bay Area, or or or, or Dallas, or, or Chicago, or Atlanta, or somewhere down there, or, or even South Carolina, North Carolina, there's a lot of Mexicanos over there, chances are you're probably not going to talk Galo or Chicano. You're probably going to have a whole different accent. And that's okay. It's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with that. Because no one's, no one's going to tell us... That as a as a people that we have to mold ourselves in one one style or one way, and plus old fools talking about cholo. Cholo is old school. Like I said, that's played out already. At least in the Bay Area, it is nobody dresses cholo no more. I mean, that's OG shit, bro. And I'm not knocking it, but that's like what they wore when I was a kid and when I was a teenager. The youngsters now they have their own style, and we have to respect that. It's not our generation anymore. Yeah, see la cosa, si no les gusta, then I don't know what the fuck to tell you. But you need to educate yourself and stop putting our people in a box because we're not a people to be put in a box. We're one people, but we have many differences as well because of the environments we grew up in. And we need to respect that on each other, you know what I mean? And not look down on it. And that's all I really have to say, Jay the Wanderer. Why no, I'm not Jay the Wanderer no more. Why do I keep saying that? I'm Jose from Oakland Latinos Unidos. Take care and bye.